Well, hello there, and welcome to another favorites episode. This week I'm chatting about all my favorite things in the month of July, and this is not dedicated specifically to knitting or sewing. It's a little bit of that, but then also a little bit of other things that I find amusing, inspiring, or things that I'm just really into this month. So if that's your jam, gather around, grab a cup of something, and, and let's get into things. I was going to save this for my knitting episode coming up later this week, but I am having so much fun knitting this pattern right now that I cannot resist sharing it with you on this episode. And that is the Dreaming of Paris Socks by Hohi Locatelli. And if you're not familiar with Hohi Locatelli's patterns, get out from under thy log, my friend, and check her stuff out because she's easily one of my favorite knitwear designers. And it's it's been a while since I've cast on one of her projects. Um, but as soon as I saw this pattern, I was smitten. I could not resist casting on right away, and uh, I'm actually using my hand-dyed yarn, uh, Vollenwein Yarns, on my footsie base, which is a superwash, blue face luster, nylon blend. Not only did I fall in love with the design, but I also fell in love with the concept behind the design. Hell, he says the inspiration behind this pattern uh, came about because she misses travel and has been dreaming about going back to Paris, and that completely resonated with me because I really do miss travel. Traveling is one of my favorite things to do and, and once COVID-19 is over, all I wanna do is hop on a plane and go somewhere. So not only did I think the design was beautiful, but I just love the concept behind it and it looks complicated, but it's actually quite simple. It's just a simple uh, cuff down sock and it has a beautiful lace detail insertion right here, uh, which is gonna look beautiful once it's all blocked out. And then after the lace bit, it's just plain stockinette in the round, but every row you're switching between two different colors. The only thing I will say is that I was a little heavy handed on the tugging at the beginning of each round because if you're if you're a sock knitter, you know that when you work with either DPNs or Magic Loop, I, I knit my socks using the Magic Loop method. If you don't give your yarn a little tug when you come to the end of each uh, round or end of each needle and switch to the next needle, laddering tends to happen at those um, edges, if that makes any sense. So I've gotten into the habit of just giving my yarn an extra little tug when I come to the beginning of each round to avoid those ladders. But with this pattern in particular, I had to go a little more light-handed <laughs> on the tugging because, because you can see there is a little puckering happening here. So I loosened up my gauge here and it's very, very minimal now. So very happy that I did that. I'm not going to be bothered about ripping back because, because it doesn't bother me. My sock knitting mojo has been at an all-time low, but when I saw these, it was I was, I was sold. I had to cast on immediately. Uh, so yeah, that is the Dreaming of Paris Socks by Hohi Locatelli. My next knitting related favorite is a YouTube channel that I am absolutely obsessed with. And that is the Stitching Over the Days channel on YouTube hosted by Constance, who is at Cleo CMC on Instagram. And if you are not familiar with Constance, Oh my gosh, you guys, her work is incredible. And I have to admit, I've been, I'm not, when it comes to commenting on other people's YouTube channels, I am I tend to be a bit of a lurker. I don't <laughs> really comment and I'm terrible at it. I'm just gonna take the opportunity in this episode to properly fangirl over her because her color work is incredible. She actually recently did a book review of uh, the Tudor Roses book by Alice Starmore, and that's a book that I want to get my mitts on because it's if you follow if you follow this channel, uh, you know that I am a complete history buff when it comes to fashion, and how that book is not in my library, I have no idea. But she reminded me that I needed this book yesterday because, and I think she's knit maybe about 85% of the patterns in that book. Anyway, check out her YouTube channel down below and her Instagram feed. Really beautiful work and incredibly inspiring. So uh, Constance, if you're watching this, yeah, you're amazing. Lucy Worsley documentaries. Oh my goodness, you guys. If you're not familiar with her, she is actually a historian who does a lot of uh, TV documentaries. When Dennis and I were in Cape Cod, we were watching TV one night together and one of her uh, documentaries came on and it was about the suffragette movement. And I really like how she, she gets dressed up in costume and really walks you through the history, kind of like a fly on the wall perspective, if that makes sense. Uh, and you really get sucked in and you feel like you're 
uh, a part of the history as she explains it to you. And yeah, the suffragette one was really good. Uh, and then I came across a couple of her documentaries on YouTube, which I will link to down below. I'm still watching it. They, these are like 45 minutes to an hour long, but the one that I watched on YouTube that you can probably watch for free yourself is uh, Jane Austen Behind Closed Doors. And it's the same thing. She takes you through where Jane Austen grew up, uh, you know, went to all the houses and buildings that she lived in and visited and speaks with other historians. And it's just, I really, really love her style and definitely, definitely check her stuff out. Lindsay, who is Sock Witchery on Instagram, brought this Instagram account to my attention. Hello, I don't know if you're watching, but the Instagram account is at color palette dot cinema and this account I don't know who it's run by but whoever they are they're they're brilliant they take a screenshot from a scene of a movie and then pick out all the colors in that particular scene to create a color palette so you can do anything with this really I mean I as a yarn dyer can create colorways based on this if you are looking for a specific color scheme when it comes to your knitting or sewing quilting or whatever you're into uh, this is a great source of inspiration especially if you are a movie buff uh, so definitely check that out and thank you so much Lindsay for, for sending me down that massive scroll hole. I, I seriously scrolled through it and saved a whole bunch of uh, posts to my personal account. Anyway, lots of inspiration. Check it out. Last but not least is another rabbit hole that I seem to have fallen down. Uh, in the past, <laughs> I've fallen down the photography rabbit hole, I've fallen down the historical fashion rabbit hole, and this time around, my friends, I have fallen down the typography rabbit hole. Yeah, I know, what other hobbies am I possibly going to fit into my schedule and I don't know. If you haven't noticed, I've been playing around with a lot of the fonts and the lower thirds and the titles on, on this YouTube channel. I'm still not particularly satisfied with the way everything looks. I'm still having fun trying new elements out and mixing and matching typefaces. Anyway, it's it's a whole nother rabbit hole, as I mentioned. <laughs> and uh, I've been actually using Skillshare, which if you are not familiar, they actually sponsor this channel. Just a disclaimer, uh, I only work with sponsors that I feel are a good fit for this channel uh, and services that I actually use and believe in, and Skillshare is definitely one of them. And I've actually been using Skillshare to learn all about typography. There's so seriously guys there are like so many classes on it I feel like by the end of the week I, I could probably have a master's in typography that might be a little exaggeration but I'm you know it's not too far-fetched but shameless sponsor plug if you want to try Skillshare for free for two whole months uh, there's a link down below just click on it and learn whatever your heart desires. All right, my friends, I am gonna end things there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this episode and are new here, feel free to like and subscribe down below. And let us know in the comments below, what are you into that we should know about? Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> so until the next video, my friends, happy knitting, happy sewing, happy making, and I'll see you next time. Bye.